time to talk tech with Andy Barrar, and uh, we all survived that big thunderstorm last night. Yeah. A lot of people <laughs> lost their power, and we're probably a little lost without. Myself included. Radio, okay. internet. Oh, really? Yes. Are we going crazy? Uh, yeah. And that's, well, that's why I got inspired for this uh, Tech Talk segment, because um. I need to start taking my own advice, you know? <laughs> it's one thing when you know everything, like, oh, I should do this, I should do this, or you should do this. But when you don't do it yourself, you know, you have to kind of bite the bullet. So I, I learned that yesterday because uh, the power went out, and oh, I have so many digital devices at home, and I had nothing to do. What? I literally Did sat there. Read a book? Read a book? No? I didn't even have, like, I didn't even have a, a flashlight. I used my iPhone. There's an app where you can have a flashlight on your iPhone. Oh, yeah. And then you drain your battery, right? Exactly. So, so I was like, oh, man, I'm kind of... You're lost. Of trouble here. Poor so I, I, I'm not going to make the same mistake again. And uh, I wanted to show some stuff so you can pretty much keep Wi-Fi while your power is out. And what you need is this baby right here, this bad boy. <laughs> it's a uninterruptible power supply, or UPS for short. It looks like a surge protector. Mm -hmm. It actually is a surge protector, but it also has a battery backup built into it. So when the power goes out, mm -hmm. the battery, the backup battery kicks in, and you can still power all your devices. Mm -hmm. So if you want to still keep internet, what you have to do is connect your rotor, or your rotor, your router, and your modem to this. Right. And then you'll basically they don't they don't take very much power, so you can still have uh, internet for up to maybe an hour, or two hours, um, while you, as long as you have it inside right. this. Okay. But only this, this, this particular model has 10, 10 outlets. Mm -hmm. Five of them have backup batteries, so it doesn't charge everything. So something like your printer, you know, if the power goes out, you, you can print later, right? It's not right. A, a big deal. Mm -hmm. But modem, router, laptop, or if you're like a student and you need to get up, or, or if, say you have to do the news in the morning, yes. hook your alarm, your alarm clock alarm to this clock. Ah, so right. that okay, so uh, you, you can keep, charge. You keep your devices plugged into this all the time, then, and it just the backup kicks in when the it, uh, it kicks in when out. the power goes out. And because okay. it's called an uninterruptible power supply, that means there's no interruption. It's right. just going to smoothly do it. You can even hook it up to your computer so that it will shut down your computer if the power goes out too long and the battery's about to drain, it will automatically shut your computer down so that you don't lose mm -hmm. anything. So it files. just charges then? Yeah, it just charges by itself once you plug it in. Mm -hmm. Everyone should have this, um, myself so you don't included. Need to, to buy it once, right? Once a lifetime, this will yes, get the yes. job done. Yes, yes, and this particular model up to $70,000 protection in all your electronic yeah. equipment. Because I'm sure, certain that somebody fried their, their gear yesterday because they right. didn't have it into a oh, power absolutely. bar right. or something right. like that. So. so how much is this? Uh, that particular one is about $150. Mm -hmm. They can range anywhere from $100 to $200, $250, depending how big you want it. You can even have one for your TV, so you can keep your TV running. Oh, my goodness. While, uh, you can keep watching the news. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> to get updates. That's uh, yeah. right. Yes. Exactly what we would do. You've got a couple of other other things here are these the same no this is different a lot of a lot of questions we get on the radio show is about having bad wi-fi in certain areas of the home this is one of the most tried tested and true methods it's called a power line solution and what you do is it's two plugs on the back right where your your router is you would plug it into this side you plug a, an ethernet cable right into here okay and then you plug it in close to your router then wherever you have low wi-fi you can plug this onto the other side and it also has an ethernet port so you connect to your computer from here. And basically you have like an ethernet running through your entire electrical grid in your house. So you don't get, you don't compromise on performance at so all. Sorry, one's the base, one? One's the base that yeah. goes beside your router. Right. And then you connect it directly like you would like a normal computer. Yeah. And then the other one, you can connect anywhere in your house. So say you have your router in, like on the main level and you want uh, in the basement, you have like a gaming station or something like that. You connect this and instantly, boom, you got High speed Wi Fi. Boom. Okay, there I'm it on is. That There's one. the boom. Yeah, this is great. I've tested I it out. Problem, I, was, yeah. I was doing gaming, like like online gaming. No problem. It's like it's basically like having an Ethernet cord going all the way into your basement. Right. So it's a great solution. Yeah. One of my That's top good. ones. I will look into and that. How much are those? This is from Linksys uh, or Cisco, and uh, it comes about eighty dollars. Okay. Great, great solution. Did you want to quickly talk about? Oh no, we're out of time. Uh, okay, that's where you can week. get more from Andy. Uh, GetConnectedMedia.com. You put all these gadgets on your website. Right? Oh, of course. We'll yes. You <laughs> Did you want to show that phone one more time? Oh yeah, if we have some have chance. Uh, I showed this last week. Um, it's a spare one. It's a basically an emergency cell phone that runs on one AA battery. Uh, it's called Spare One. I got so many emails about this. Um, it's great. It this one thing can last for 15 years, so I definitely want to check it out. Where can you get that? Spareonephone.com. Spareonephone.com. Okay, yes. thanks very much, Andy.